happen only on RTV6, a new security plan for protecting our Indianapolis schools during active shooter incidents. In the next couple of weeks, the Department of Homeland Security will roll out a video that urges all school students and school personnel to physically confront an armed intruder if they can't escape or seek safe shelter. Jack Reinhardt now with our exclusive story. This five minute video represents an emerging shift in philosophy to protect students, school teachers, and school personnel. It suggests to potential victims that if you can't run and can't hide, then stop and fight. The video, produced with the technical expertise of the Metropolitan Police Department SWAT team, is a lesson in survival. It underscores in graphic detail that schools aren't always safe, as well as the need for a plan to escape, to hide, and fight for one's life if necessary. <laughs> You got to be committed to your actions. So if you're if if you get in a position where you got to fight, you got to be committed to that, and you got to fight because that that shooter is there to to shoot you anyways. This year alone, police agencies across the nation have investigated 16 school shootings, including last month's fatal shooting of a Purdue University student. While the alleged gunman eventually surrendered without further violence, nearly all active shooter incidents end in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. The Homeland Security video explains the need for school personnel to improvise weapons, attack with conviction and aggression, and commit to a course of survival. Get him! He's in there! He's in there! He's in there. If they come in your room, you got to take them on. You got to be ready to take them on and grab anything you can to take them on because they're, they're there to shoot you. I mean, that's, that's why they're there. This afternoon, IPS Police Chief Steve Garner issued a statement saying that he has not seen the video but supports the concept of run, hide, and fight. The chief of police of the state's largest school district said he would begin training his police force, administrators, and teachers in the concept over the coming months. The video will be distributed to all 392 schools throughout Marion County. Homeland Security officials would like to distribute it throughout the state. In Indianapolis, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.